So there's something that I've realized as I've sat here over the last, I think it's been a month now, as I've been working with Fire Dragon or any like Firefox type one, between containers and tab groups. So the tab groups extension is one that requires containers enabled to work. And it's changed how I organize a lot of things in my browsing. So I have my basic browsing. I've got like one for school or like different categories. So rather than having like a million tabs spread across the top bar here, I can now spread those tabs out and focus on one thing here or one thing there. So I could go to, oh, let me pick a good one. Yeah, this one. So I could go to this group and focus on this one for a little bit. And I don't have a lot of tabs like distracting me from this, that, or the other. Now, if I wanted to, I could have a tab playing audio in another group and it would still continue to play that audio. And it would show that that audio is coming from this tab group here. But... I would still be able to focus on what's going on in the main tab group from where I'm at currently working and also still somewhat be able to control the audio from the other tab and whatnot. But then I've also got like whether it be the chats, the browsing, or whether I'm looking at RPGs, I can switch around and only those tabs open up and I focus on just that for a little bit. So like when I am uploading videos in... Here, I've got the YouTube tab group that I also end up opening the other video, end up opening BitChute, Odyssey, and PeerTube in to upload videos. And it kind of helps me more focus on that a little bit better. And everything's not cluttered. And plus, I can close out the tabs as need be without having the close button disappear on me the whole way, halfway through, or when the screen gets too full. But I can sit here and go between the tabs and then the tab loads up, whichever one is selected in the tab group. But if I go to, I can go to manage groups here and then I can look at all the groups that I have open. So yeah, I could have like a hundred tabs open, but because of the way it's organized, it is condensed down to the current group of tabs that I am focused on and I can save other tabs for later for down the road or forget about it completely which I've done totally over and over again and this makes it a lot nicer than Chromium's tab groups because it's not some accordion thing or even Vivaldi's tab stacks because I don't have these tiny tabs up at the top here nagging at me and it doesn't come up I can just focus on what's in the current group and then move to another one whenever I shift projects or shift whatever I'm doing so I could go back to browsing here and I could just have my general browsing stuff or whatever going on and I create a tab group for maybe a new project as you can see I've got just a... more groups than I probably should have honestly but it allows a little bit better focus on a certain project if I like group things up into a certain group or I can focus have it dedicated to one thing so I can save it for later for working on something else down the road. So if you're a Firefox user and you're already using containers, or, ah, then the, it, in a sense, it only makes sense to have the groups as an extension that you're using. So let me see if, ba -ba -da -ba -ba, where is it? And look, you could even back up the tab groups if you wanted to. You could export the tab groups, keep them saved, import them somewhere else, or and restore them. Um, it's just, it's kind of cool, and it's kind of worrying because this means I can like, open up multiple tabs and have just groups of tabs out in the open without any 
care in the world for it. Let me see if I can find... So, simple tab groups. Here's the GitHub page for it. Oh. Mozilla, the add-on in the add-on repo for Firefox. So you can just add it to Firefox and then it'll ask you to enable containers. And containers just make it even better from there. Because then you can lit tell oh you can tell it that you want to open all the tabs in this group that you open up in a certain container so then you not only have a separation of windows and groups you've got separation of data as well so it creates its own little cookie jar for all of those tabs to hang out in so if we go to <coughs> manage groups I can click the options here and I can have like regular expressions to catch different things and catch and move tabs from different from certain containers to add it to this group. So it's interesting. Um, there are some interesting conflicts sometimes with certain tabs wanting to be in two groups because of rules. I think that's changed recently so that the container overrides like any regular expressions for tab groups so like if we look at youtube here we can see that i've added any youtube.com expressions to the youtube tab group so it should automatically so automatically grabs all those and moves it to the youtube group but then i've got the bridgerland group or container that is moved to the bridgerland group automatically and it kind of creates created that conflict to where i had a Bridgerland tab in the YouTube group, but then it's since moved over to back over to there. So it's a couple different, oh, interesting things going on. But yeah, you can limit your groups. You can isolate groups to certain containers and so on. And then you could even delete entire groups right from here as well. Really easy, simple, gets rid of the tabs, and don't have to think about it anymore. Anyway, tab groups have changed how I browse. Like, half of my browsing is just, okay, what do I need to work on right now? And then I can focus on that, and it makes it easy. It's kind of like having a window manager on your desktop, except it's for your browser tabs, and it makes it easier to focus on that one thing rather than be scatterbrained because you've got all these 10 million tabs and trying to sift through and find what tab is where. It's like, oh yeah, I put that tab in this group because it has to do with this project. And then you go over to it and you're done. If you enjoyed the video, then like, comment, subscribe, feed the algorithm, boost the video up, share this video with your friends. If you found it informative or you just want to chat, I've got plenty of places in the description. Discord, Gilded, and what have you. Check those out, and I will see you guys in the next one.